guys, Pravish, what is going on here right now? Tell me. These are, these are the two Sydney's. The two Sydney's! Ramit, tell us, how are you feeling before the screening? I'm, I'm excited, I can't wait for everyone to see our movie and yeah, I'm a little... What's the word? I'm a little excited. And if you do, we need you to get on your phones and tell absolutely everybody because you are our marketing budget. <laughs> I'm Dom, one of the three producers. The other lovely producers are here. Meet some of our heads of departments so you can chat to them afterwards again. Director of Photography, Lee Ulner. <laughs> our amazing editor, whose job never ends because we keep getting him to do more and more and more can. Our amazing makeup designer and artist and does everything and looks after us all, Shalini. <laughs> and oh, in the audience, we have our production designer, stroke costume designer, stroke cameo person. <laughs> oh, choreographer, sorry. Thank you, Leslie Ann, choreographer. Great. Andy, our director's assistant. Andy, and driver. We almost had to sell our organs to make this film. <laughs> and we probably will have to sell them to get distribution. Um, if you love it, please, please tell everybody. And if you don't love it, tell me. What is it? 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 What is Welcome to director Pravesh Kumar, actors Ramit Rawli, Viraj Jaleja, Seema Bari, and of course, Amit Chana. Please come ladies and gentlemen. So tell me, first of all, why did you decide to make this as a debut film and why is this story so important? Firstly, I just want to say, um, this played in many, many years ago and the lead actress who played Simi, Benito is here. Simi, me, Simi. Yeah, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Well done, guys, that was amazing. Oh, Thank you. So, so, so good. I mean, the play did phenomenally well, and um, Dominic, where is she? Why are you over there? Yeah. Um, Dom saw it, and for years we were conspiring, we're going to try and make a movie, and, uh, you know, everyone said no, um, like they do, but we didn't give up, and we kept writing drafts, and we kept carrying on, and... We take no for an answer, really, and uh, here we are. Amazing. Yay. That is amazing. And I think also a big kudos also goes to the team because the film was developed and shot during the pandemic. I think it provided employment to so many people, including young people who actually got an opportunity to work on a film set. So I think just for that, I think that deserves an applause. Without, without applause. I mean, a lot of... I mean, I think nearly everybody on this film, it's their first film credit. Wow. Uh, I mean, talking about the crew here, um, there was lots of very young people who had never worked in film before. This is my first feature film credit. Uh, the producers also. So, you know, um, Dominique put her money where her mouth was. Really, and she just, and she really didn't just talk about it, she did it. Oh, bless her. Dom is a rock star. We love you, Dom. Yeah. <laughs> To what extent did your theatre background actually determine the creative decisions for screen? As a director, transitioning from text-based script to a visual script, but this is my first, and I watch it, and every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, I wish I tried that, and, and I wish I, you know, had a bit more time to um, make it more visual. Mm. Um, but what I love the most about being a theatre director is that I get to work with these brilliant people. Um, and some of them here, here, here they all are. Um, and, and I think when, you're, when you've trained in theatre, it allows you a special relationship uh, that we're used to having in a rehearsal room. And also what happens is 
I sometimes left the camera on them a bit longer than I think other other directors might because you try you have this kind of relationship of trust and I would just let it roll uh, sometimes to everyone's annoyance. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice this before, but I think after watching it again, the way we see the transition of Simi through the costumes as well and the hair, like before she used to, you know, she was wearing the typical salvar kumis and then you can see her being a bit more freer. And I think big kudos to goes to Andy as well for and the tech. And Shalini as well. Yeah. yeah, big shout out to you guys as well. And Andy and I decided very early on that Simi was going to be the only colour in that drab house. So it's kind of quite yeah. drab deliberately. We deliberately put her in red. She, you know, her hands are red, her bangles are red. She's she's the only colour. And she's the kind of glue that starts to bring that family together. So how tough was it for you to not just encapsulate this spirit, but also represent that desiness that she had in an authentic manner? We really worked on the Punjabi and, um, you know, just made sure that she was as authentic as possible. I mean, I'm born and bred here, so it was a little, it was, it was a, it was a challenge, but we, we tried. We even worked on her walk, didn't we? Like, we oh. Yeah, physicality as well, a bit, sort of like her mannerisms, how she would nod her head, and you know, those like little, little things, yeah. And her Punjabi diet was really important, like <laughs> loads of prawn here and loads of. <laughs> like. So, what would you say, I mean, besides the, you know, sort of groundwork that you did, what were some of the other references, I think, in acting for you? These women, though, um, were like real women. They were like like my mum, my aunties, and these were women in my home, in my family. And more than like actresses and people I see on screen, they were more the real women, the, the women that I know. And what's been lovely is like, we've had a couple of these screenings, and the most beautiful thing is that a lot of our mums, they've come up to me and they were like, this was our story. Wow. It's like, you know, and that's been the most like, heart, like heartwarming thing um kind of makes me emotional but yeah like you know auntie's coming up to me and talking and saying you know we came and like stuff like that and the fact they can relate to it is such a beautiful thing just wanted to add to that that i think you know authenticity was really important to all of us and language um also being very british asian how often do we get to see that on screen you know it's a unique yeah. thing mm. we are a unique fusion of cultures there's duality in that, and I really wanted to represent that. Even in Seema, Seema's character, Guru Baksh, you know, she's not from India, she's lived here. There's there's this kind of wonderful fusion, in, even in that character, you know. If you said, Midlands laugh yeah. from nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this has been an amazing experience, and honestly, hats off to Prav, who I've worked with before in theatre. The way you can tell a story, Prav, and thank you for championing. Goldie always says this, Goldie who played Mindy, we, we've said, said this to each other, and, and we, we've said this to you. The way you write for women um, has been, it, it, we really, you know, it was a joy of doing this. I think that, um, for me, what I really like about, I mean, maybe just the few roles that you've done, or even two, uh, to pinpoint for this one and 20 years back it was interesting you played role. <laughs> let me explain no no no, no. Right, if we're gonna just to, just if to we're gonna be precise next month there'll be 21 years all right yeah. how important is it for i think male roles to actually showcase sentimentality at strength one is uh, the way that he connects with simi in the way that he's also from punjab and he also has come over and he also knows what it was like to be the alien in the in the family and also in the country and therefore looks to support her right from the beginning you know even on a on a kind of down low he keeps it a secret um was really special for me because i kind of went this is really lovely because normally when we see uh turban wearing sikhs um in films it's either the kind of comic relief or the fact that he's an old dad who believes that his daughter should be married and blah 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 and all that and i think if you're gonna um ask about the world that bobby belongs to i think he's probably the most uh open-minded kind of uh understanding person in that family and he's the only one that comes with an experience from outside of those four walls we found raj first time you've seen the film tonight which is amazing Yay! And Shireen, and Shireen. And Shireen, first time you've seen it? Yeah. yeah. And first, and Nikki, Sweetie is also in the first house. First time that Sanjeev's Sanjeev seen it. Sanjeev's watching well. it for the first time as well. Tarsem Singh's yeah. cousin brother is cousin brother. Yeah. Yeah. You can't stand up and take your hand, guys, honestly. Stand up, stand up. 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 Stand up.
after a hiatus, we're seeing an influx of British Asian stories getting commercial traction. In fact, it's amazing that Little English is also releasing thanks to the BFI Audience Fund as well. Uh, two parts to the question, really. How confident do you feel as a filmmaker now that British Asian stories are frequently getting commercial backing? And number two, how can we collectively as a community help push the boundaries even more? <clears throat> I don't agree. Um, we're not getting commercial backing. Um, to sorry, to to be really honest, to be really honest, it's really tough. I mean, it's impossible. I said this at the beginning. It's impossible to make this film. It's impossible to get it released because there are so many obstacles. Because the people that are making decisions about what goes on our screens and what goes on our stages are not us. They they are we are othered, you know, and we are constantly othered. We're self distributing because we believe in the film we believe there's an audience we are fighting every day to get cinemas to book this film they are booking it so the chains have booked it now don yes. oh, so we're going amazing to great news <laughs> I hope and I pray that people will go to the cinema and watch this film because what that will do is that will open the floodgates for other filmmakers and for other yeah, stories so to be told and that's essential because otherwise we're always going to be businessmen or doctors or lawyers or dentists and nothing else because you know we are so many things we are mums we are brothers you know we are lovers Genesis when, when do well. we see that on screen we just don't see it right you know when have we ever seen I don't think I've ever seen two brown romantic leads in a in yeah. a movie before, that's not a body which is not so true. I don't think I've ever seen, <laughs> seen them snogging. Definitely. Yeah, actually, that's yeah. true. So. Yeah, it's it's a difficult it's a difficult time, and I hope you know this will pave the way, and eventually we will get change because you know it's a struggle, isn't it, Don? Maybe you should just say something about this. You're you're the one that's doing this every day. Yeah, come on, Don. Come on. Taking the mic because we have to get out of the room in minus two minutes. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I thought making a film was the hard bit, um, but with these amazing cast and crew, that was actually, it was, it was felt hard when we were doing it, but it was easy and it was a joy and it was something that I think all of us expected. Distribution in this country and exhibition is crazy. I've never done it before, and there's barriers at every stage, so. We really need more than ever, like everybody to go out and see the film because it's not just about this film, it is about if we can prove the point per pound spent on this film, if we get enough people to come and watch it, you know, they're going to want to see more of this in the cinemas. So, you know, please pave the way. Hashtag <laughs> Little English. Hashtag Little English Film. Little English Film. Little Film. Little English Film. Yeah. Dot com as well. Please book now. Book now. <laughs> so, guys, it's your mission to when you leave here to get on your phones and if you loved it tell absolutely everyone because that's the only way we're going to get the word out we haven't got the budgets of of my contemporaries we haven't got that we've got you so please do that thank you so much